last night, I think all three of us were dreaming about bus work and stressing, and we all woke up around 4, 5 a.m. because our brains were like boom, 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 boom. I dreamt that we were working on cutting sheet metal, only it was big pieces of tarp, and it was just, you couldn't get it in a straight line, and it was flapping all over the place, and bus nightmare. Kidney stone update. I'm at the hospital. Got to go in and get a x-ray so they can see what's going on with my kidney stones. So I'll give you an update after I get back. Nope. Couldn't give me any info, but I got my x-ray. Quick and painless. Exciting thing about getting the x-ray is the entire x-ray machine is held up in the ceiling with unistruts. <laughs> the same kind of unistrut that we're using for our roof rack for our solar panels and everything. Even with a trip to the hospital, I got a bus on my mind. <laughs> We felt great about putting our steel in for our walls here, placing the windows. However, we had a horrible storm about four days in a row and we got some leaking on the outside. This bottom corner here, it's lipping over the body of the bus. So we know that there's no way it could be actually sealed all the way up. So. We're gonna pull it out and do it again. Now we've learned that it needs to fit perfectly every time. You can't force it after the fact. And we learned some things from our first experience and we decided it was worth getting a few extra tools that will make the job much easier and much better. Now will we get the suction cups? Yeah. Alright. Just put one. <laughs> it just suction on there before you can even Alright, why don't we try this? Let's just uh I'm just gonna try to lift this way. Yeah. This. Let's give us a lot of tassel. Okay. That tape. <laughs> it's good tape. <laughs> okay. Those suction cups are amazing. It makes it so much easier to work. And we're not sure if it's just something to do with this back window space or if the sheet metal was slightly cut at an angle but couldn't sit flush. And it, it looks like we spaced it out really evenly. Everything else looks great, but that one corner. Okay, right there. Yep, it's too far over on the side. Remember that the bus isn't always symmetrical, so like this beam here that you're hitting into might not be linear, you know what I mean? It's not going yeah. straight up and down. Square. Well, so there's my, my corner hole is lined up. Is yours? Yep. Okay. We yep. cleaned all the glues off, which just took some time, but it wasn't so bad. I'm done used the uh, sander on the sanding wheel to grind off the sealant on the sheet metal. And that tape, that tape that we got oh, is yeah, amazing. Oh yeah, black tape, yeah. Yeah, which is good, yay black tape. Took us some elbow grease. After he sanded, we still had to go on with mineral spirits and give it a good rub. Yeah. 
So while we had it down, we went ahead and grinded the back bottom edge because it was the part that was overlapping and we're pretty, we're like 90% sure that's where our leak was happening. Nice and snug. Uh, yeah, even cinched off a eighth of an inch too much. It'll work. Just use some sealer with it. Okay. And all the way up, it's going to be flush against. Yeah, yeah it'll work. All right. We were wearing masks before it got into style. <laughs> So now we've got them both surfaces cleaned and I just didn't want the chance to rust so I just hit it with a layer of etching primer. <sighs> Learning on the job. After a long lunch break, we added the tape and put a bead of adhesive sealant. Camilla pulled off the tape backing and we were ready to get the sheet metal up in place again. However, it's really hard to line it up. The sheet metal is so close to the edge of the beam. You don't get a lot of opportunity to wiggle it around and figure it out with that black tape on. You put it on and then it sticks. <laughs> what? I know it made a hole, but you didn't see it come over the top? which I'm really quite upset about because <laughs> we fixed that bottom corner, we fixed one problem and I feel like we now have a few weak spots along the bottom where we had to put the rivets in. We got 72 hours with no rain in the forecast, and then we got three days of rain. So, as per usual, we wait and the weather will tell us whether we did a good job or not. It was a messy day though. This can gets everywhere looking at some on his face. Yeah, we really wanted to make sure we had a huge thick bead of the caulking around the, the inside edge of the sheet metal, so that when it got pushed in, you could visibly see it getting squished out of it. We'd feel more secure that we had a good sealant between that metal and and the frame metal of the bus. And if you see me hobbling around in this video, it's because I have an injury. I have Achilles tendonitis. I'm supposed to be resting my foot. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think it's a hard period. We've never done this before, obviously. And uh, it's really hard to look at the bus in the state right now because it <laughs> looks terrible. You just feel like you're making it worse and worse and worse. But I'm going to trust the process because I've seen other people do this and I've seen their buses in the state where they look awful. And then you clean it all up and you paint it and it's all brand new and looks fantastic. So I know it's just where we're at right now, but it's really hard to look at the bus. Another day where my dad's help was invaluable. I want to make sure he knows that we appreciate his help. My dad's over there making a barbecue, getting Yay. the barbecue going. How's that barbecue going? The charcoals are not starting yet. Okay. I'm not the official fire guy, so. <laughs> Another great thing about being with my parents here is when we have long bus days, Sometimes my mom cooks us dinner. Mm -hmm. So she's got, dad's just got the fire going and the barbecue, and I'm looking forward to just sitting down, relaxing, and having a nice meal that we don't have to cook ourselves. 
after we go get the video ready to put out tomorrow. Oh, we have to do that? Yep. All right. Well, we gotta go because we gotta go get a video ready for tomorrow. We did it. Three windows in one day. Woohoo! It felt great to get uh, these done today after pushing, prepping, preparing, changing our minds, and reaching the decision to go ahead and pull almost all but two of these windows out. Last night, I think all three of us were dreaming about bus work and stressing, and we all woke up around 4, 5 a.m. because our brains were like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, last night I had dreamt that we were working on cutting sheet metal, only it was big pieces of tarp, and it was just, you couldn't get it in a straight line, and it was flapping all over the place, and bus nightmare. <laughs> A lot of those that happen. Bus stress dreaming, is that a thing? Yeah, I think so. If you've worked on a bus and you've had bus stress dreams, let us know about your bus <laughs> stress dream below. Yeah, comment below, tell us your dreams. <laughs> At this point, we were starting to get our method down to replace our windows with sheet metal. Removing and cleaning the drip rails. We pulled out all the windows at once. then cleaned and sanded off any adhesive or surface rust. The first couple days that we worked on removing windows and putting the sheet metal in, we were using Seekflex. And thanks to the viewers who have commented to guide us to find this adhesive, it's supposed to be amazing. We used 221 for the back two sheet metal pieces. And although I think it will work, it is waterproof, it does have a good bonding, it just takes quite a bit longer to dry. Today, we got the 252 out it seems to set up much quicker, and it also just seems to be heftier. I don't know. It was certainly messier. Since we'd ordered our sheet metal an inch shorter than we would ideally like, we found that if we put a half inch board on top of our side guardrail, we could get the sheet metal to fit exactly the way we wanted it to. Because we weren't riveting the front yet, we clamped it down to make sure the Sikaflex would bond securely to the bus beam. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm ready for the halftime lunch break. I feel really relieved now that we fi finally like found a good plan to line it up really well and make sure the rivets are going in the right spot. So, whew. None of this would be an issue if I would have pulled my drip rails down and measured from my underside seam of my roof. I measured from the top drip rail down and to replace the windows, we're pulling the drip rail off and we've got, you could have had at least three more inches of metal on the sheets of metal and it would just tuck up under the roof metal. Unfortunately, because I had them all cut 
just a little bigger than the windows, we're doing a real dance to get the holes in the right place in for the rivets so that it doesn't just come out over the edge of the beam where Mel can see the light. We purposefully put our sheet metal in from the back to the front with an overlap to work with the buzzer's aerodynamics. Now we've got it down. Did two of them in a row the same way and it worked. Mel's cleaning off the last of the drip rail and then we're gonna put them back on. Looking at the bus, it just looks awful. Like Mella said yesterday, if we hadn't seen a Frankenstein bus before, I'd be panicking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of the 252 cartridges for the entire other side. I, hopefully that'll seal it up a lot better because it's a much stronger bond. In the commercial for Sika Flex 252, they so it's so strong that you can glue five and a half elephants together with one tube and hang them just from one tube. So I'm, I'm thinking that by the time we're done, we'll have gone through, oh, I don't know. 20 tubes. 20 tubes. Let's do the math. <laughs> That's a hundred elephants. <laughs> That's a really weird image. <laughs> we could glue a hundred elephants to the side of our bus. <sighs> Remove one more bite out of the elephant. <laughs> now we're gluing the elephant together. We can't bite him. Yeah. Another bite out of the old elephant. <laughs> what? Is that a saying or did you just make that? No. It's like how, how to eat an elephant one bite at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it felt great to get uh, these done today after pushing, prepping, preparing. It doesn't look pretty right now. Oh, I can't wait to get to the point where we can paint it and make it look nice, but there's still lots to do. Still gotta actually put the RV windows in. Yeah. But I think that'll, oh, I should never say, I think that'll be Just easier. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna sleep better tonight because I think we're all feeling a little bit relieved that we found a method that works and I feel a lot more confident about doing the other side. Except that next up means the other side. We have to do all seven windows. In all one day. Full, take them out and fill them all in in one day because you can't leave anything open and they all overlap each other. So, oh, we're gonna have to start at 4 a.m. We'll all wake up at 4 a.m., yeah. right? <laughs> anyway. Don's mom has kindly cooked us dinner again, which is awesome. So all we need to do now is go take a shower and enjoy a tasty dinner. Continuing on, continuing on the kidney stone adventure. 
Um, just had my blood tested. Pre possible surgery this week, and hopefully my kidney stones are gone before that. I'd rather not have any surgeries. Now I gotta go do a COVID test. Fun times. So yesterday was done surgery. Today I'm going in for a procedure. <sighs> yeah, I'm cold and it's been two hours. He's uncomfortable, he's in a lot of pain, because it all just feels like a lot. Our plan was to take out all of these windows, but now he is out of commission, for sure. But we'll share that with you next time. Oh my goodness, Mella! <laughs> what? <laughs> when you're yelling at me. Where was I yelling? When I'm looking for light on the other side. Oh, and that's because I can't hear you. I know, but you yell at me <laughs> so mean like. That's over the top, right? Mella. It's hard to be so excited for you when we had such a hard time trying to achieve our goal for the day. I thought our cleaning glue off things days were over. Yeah. <laughs> Are you supposed to put glue on now? What happened?